They're becoming epidemic. Emailed terror threats that are rattling the nerves of children, parents, and teachers in some of America's largest school districts. Today, we learned of the latest, and we got a look at the emails. Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues has more about that and about the man at the center of the investigation. The list of school districts receiving the threatening emails includes Los Angeles, New York, Miami, Houston, Dallas, and now Clark County in Nevada. The district, which includes Las Vegas schools, received the emails yesterday and officials determined they were a hoax. The Dallas emails detail plans of 46 jihad affiliates for a massacre of epic proportion with mass shootings and napalm, propane, and pressure cooker explosives for maximum casualty. These emails differ slightly from the one received in Los Angeles, which talked of 32 comrades and bombs set to detonate via cell phone. While investigators do not know who sent the messages, they say all of the emails were routed through a server in Germany run by Vincent Canfield. The 21-year-old native of Maine and college dropout says as of last week, he's been living in Romania. Canfield received this subpoena from New York City Police, which was followed by a call with a detective which Canfield recorded. The I'm reason we get three days to respond is because of the severity of it. I, I do understand the severity of it. There's some stuff that I don't understand in the subpoena, and I'd like to understand it before I, I follow through. Canfield says that he can trace the source of the emails. He says that he has complied with the New York subpoena, but he has yet to respond to the one that he just received from Clark County. Scott, he's consulted with a lawyer who has represented Edward Snowden. Jeff Pegues in the Washington Newsroom. Jeff, thank you.